Hey everybody, it's Lane with LayoutAday.com and I wanted to give you another entry in the How to Make Money Scrapbooking series. Today we're talking about kits, making and selling your own scrapbook kits. Now inside this box is something very special. It is one of the kits that I created and sold via my website and made several hundred dollars doing it. Now basically what happens is that First of all, there are tons of scrapbook kits out there, lots of kit clubs, and you might wonder why you would possibly venture into a market that is already saturated. Now, I would say that the kit market is is has a lot of, of different opportunities um, for purchasing kits, but it's never saturated to the point where one other kit couldn't be purchased. And especially if you create a kit that is angled at a particular project or um, a particular market, and it's a one-time kit versus an ongoing monthly kit, it's very easy to sell a limited number of those on your website or blog. Now you might not be able to sell 500 or 1,000 of them, but you could certainly sell a dozen or two dozen of those and make some good money. Basically what you do is you pull together some coordinating products either to create a specific project like a mini album or a grandma's brag book or something like that and you get all the pattern paper, all the materials, all the embellishments that would go together in that kit and then you set a price on it and sell it on your blog. Now I've done this several times in the past and it's sometimes kind of hit or miss um, depending on what you put together, what time of year it is, what other things people have going on. The kits have sold really well and then other ones haven't sold quite so well. This one right here that I have a leftover of was a Halloween kit and I found it didn't sell very well. I made I think about 25 of them and ended up with about five left over. So that's not too bad but I was hoping to sell out obviously. Um, I want to encourage you to see how other people are putting their kits together and um, you know how many sheets of pattern paper are in there, how many uh, sheets of cardstock, how they compile those, how they're pricing them because you want to be kind of in the same range. Now larger kit, kit clubs have an advantage because they can buy directly from the manufacturers at wholesale prices. There are ways to get around that. You can use your 40% off coupons at the local scrapbooks or craft store. You can go to manufacturers closeout sales. You can scoop up stuff that's being discontinued. And if you compile all those into a very um, integrated kit, not just leftovers that are pieces of this and pieces of that, but something that looks like it belongs together, nobody's really going to care for a one-time kit that the stuff isn't the latest and greatest especially people who live in areas of the country where it's hard for them to get the latest and greatest. They may be just as happy with pattern paper from six months ago as they are with the latest releases from CHA. So anyway, just some things to think about as far as how much money you can make. It really depends on what your costs are. And you have to factor in everything from shipping costs to the cost of buying a box um, and your time to put it together. Typically, I make about $8 to $10 per kit. So if I sell 20 of them, you can figure that out. It's somewhere between $160 and $200. It does take a lot of effort to make sure you're counting out the right number of brads and getting them in each kit and packaging, up, packaging them up really nicely. But I enlist my kids' help, too, so that cuts down on the time a little bit. So anyway, there's another way you can make money by scrapbooking, and I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to catch the rest of this series, you can visit me at www.layoutaday.com, and this has been Lane Amon. Thank you.